This is a podcast from Tovine Voluntary Alliance. Hello, I'm Patrick Downs. Welcome to a very special Christmas edition of the Word from the Third podcast. Normally we'd be taking a look at all those big third sector organisations here in Torvine, but we aren't doing that today. But we've also got some very special messages from some very special people, all for you here on Word from the Third. And I'll promise not to have many Christmas-related puns. So let's crack her on. Have our first message from Rachel Knight from Helping Families Work here in Torvine. I'd love to say a Merry Christmas to everybody across Torvine from the Helping Families Work project. It's a lottery-funded project that that I'm working on at the moment, supporting working families to help maximise their income and their overall health and well-being. We've got some fantastic community projects up and running at the moment. If you'd love to get involved, it'd be great to hear from you. It's rachel.knight.com. Ron Abbott is my email address, telephone 078 149 62390, or just give me a message on Facebook, Rachel Knight at Ron Abbott. Merry Christmas, everybody, and see you in the new year. Jock and Vow, thank you very much, Rachel. And we continue with a message from Able Radio. Hello, hello, hello. Or should I say ho, ho, ho. It is Christmas. I'd like to wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas. But it's not just me who would like to say Merry Christmas to you all. I've got some friends who would like... Hello, hello, hello. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Xmas. It's Charlotte. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a fun day. Merry Christmas. Uh, 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 Nice Christmas. And open your present when you get up. Merry Christmas! Hello, Joseph Weaver here. Merry Christmas. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, absolutely love that. The Dollar Clow Enable Radio. And with that, here's another message, this time from Gaynor James from Pontypool Community Council. I know that we've had a very trying year this year, and I want to thank all NHS and key workers for working so hard, and they continuing to do so now. Another important thing is the communities in Torvine. Our volunteers in Torvine, you've been absolutely precious. We could not have done all... All the things that have been done for the needy without you, you've been out there in force making sure that everybody is cared for. I want to thank you so much for all your hard work. I also want to say I'm so sorry for all those that have had to make some heartbreaking sacrifices this year. But we have been at war with COVID, but we're going to win this war. And when we have, we can all celebrate together. It's important to follow the guidelines because they're there to keep you safe and to keep others safe. So I'd just like to finish off in wishing you all a peaceful and happy season. Enjoy it as much as you can by keeping safe. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you. This is a very special Christmas podcast from TVA, The Word from the Third, and we continue with more of your Christmas messages. Hello, my name's Ria. I work for Bron Avon Community Housing. I'd like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Hello, this is James Bartlett from Brain Tumor Support based here in South East Wales. I'd like to wish everyone in the Torvine area a very peaceful and happy Christmas. I'd also like to thank everyone for the support that you've given us since setting up our project in 2018 supporting anyone affected directly or indirectly by a brain tumour diagnosis. Let's hope next year is a happier year for us all and a more familiar year. Hello, I'm Lorraine Morgan, Chair of Action for Elders Charity and a member of TVA. I'd like to wish everyone in Torvine a very peaceful and happy season. We run a wide range of community programmes at Action for Elders for older people in the South Wales area and plan to start one in the Torvine area in the new year. Our Balanced Lives programme gives those in later life the tools to help themselves towards physical, emotional, mental and social independence. During the COVID-19 pandemic, We couldn't do the things in person, so we switched to running our service remotely to support the local community. We have been running the live weekly Zoom mobility classes both during the day and in the evening. And we have also been able to provide live weekly question and answer sessions to enable people to share advice and help with better eating while tackling anxiety, stress and general well-being and we run a monthly book club. To ensure we can provide help seven days a week, our sessions are backed by our own dedicated YouTube channel with a wide range of subject matter from videos on arthritis and falls to advice on nutrition and mindfulness. Importantly, 
we provide individual digital support so that anyone who has problems accessing our services can get online easily and quickly. We are taking this hugely successful Balanced Lives online model to deliver remotely to care homes and older adult housing in the new year. For more details of our free Balanced Lives online support package, you can call 0303 Email us at info at actionforelders.org.uk or our Facebook page, Action for Elders, or go to our website, actionforelders.org. UK. You may see an advert on S4C until the 30th of December. Please look out for us. Thank you. This is a very special Christmas podcast from TVA, the Christmas word from the third. I'm Jo, one of the councillors for Crossy Kiliog. It's been a very difficult year this year, hasn't it? And now Christmas looks very, very different to what it probably has in previous years. I want to say thank you to anyone and everyone who's been out there this year helping others, whether it's family, friends or neighbours. Everything you do has made a difference from the big shopping trips to the listening on the end of a phone call. It all matters. I hope you're able to find some joy this Christmas in the simple place and I want to wish you Merry Christmas. Hello, I'm Victoria, the Development Coordinator at Torvine Voluntary Alliance. Despite these difficult times, it's been a real pleasure working alongside the team here at TVA. We've been supporting our members and the communities in Torvine through lots of different ways and it's been a very uplifting experience to see people pulling together and adapting to meet the needs of the community. We are very lucky in Torvine to have so many passionate people that really care about their community. So thank you. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you very much, Victoria. And to round things off on this special Word from the Third Christmas podcast, it's our very own MP for Torvine, Nick Thomas Simmons. This has been an extremely tough year, but I'm so proud of the way that our community has come together in such difficult circumstances, helping everybody out. I'd like to say a particular thank you through TVA to all those who've given up their time and volunteered across the borough to try to help and to try to support other people. What you've done has been nothing short of remarkable. Thank you all very much. I hope you're able to have a very happy Christmas. Jock and Vow, Nick, and everybody else who's contributed to the Word from the Third Christmas podcast. And now, as a special little treat, one of the biggest Christmas traditions written in 1822 by Clement Clark Moore also known as a visit from St Nicholas, t'was the night before Christmas, the Dollar Clown. Happy Christmas. T'was the night before Christmas, when all for the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and Mama in a kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, threw open the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles, his course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves up before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in the twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, I was turning around. Down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, 
and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and given a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And don't forget, if you want to contact TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance, for anything regarding the third sector here in Torvine, get in touch regarding funding, volunteering, any kind of support or governance. Info at tvawales.org.uk. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at TVA Wales, or of course on the website. It's all there at tvawales.org.uk. This podcast is produced by TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance.